My name's Jack, I'm an ice sculptor here at Hamilton Ice Sculptors. Now, the sculptures that we make are everything and anything can vary from swans to tires made of ice. Being a sculptor, it's about having a good silhouette, bold detail, which is why these wheels are brilliant, because the shape of the rim on the car is a very strong, bold, kind of geometric shape, so it really comes out in, uh, in ice. We've had the car in our freezer, minus 25. I think when it gets down any colder, anything could go wrong. The noises from covering it in the water, I thought I'd broken the car at one point. I thought I'd shattered the windscreen, but luckily not been a problem. Things that are made by hand are special because you, you have the combination of the tools and the workman. We have to choose our tools very carefully and when we use those tools we're engaging with the material in a completely different way to when you just uh, kind of press a button and the machine makes it. Most of what we make is one off and it's a thrill to so it's for me it's like a little journey of exploration. The planning stage is very crucial. I feel I need to know really what I'm doing so that when I'm when I'm making it, I feel really confident that everything's going to start together and fit. And at the same time that you're trying to get those sort of technical details right, you're also trying to make something beautiful. Ice intrinsically doesn't have the sort of properties that you need to be able to support a nearly two-ton car. So we're looking at different materials and finding which one will be appropriate to hide and sandwich in between two layers of ice and take the actual structural load while from a visual sense the ice will still be on show. Lexus sent us several components to analyse and to figure out which components we were going to machine and how those were going to attach onto the existing components and straight off you could see that build quality was exceptional. To start with we get a digital design of the wheel itself. After that we then need to dissect this model and figure out where the certain components that we're actually manufacturing are going to be. Because of the nature of the real wheel and how it attaches to the wheel assembly, we're having to create a packer. So then that attaches to the wheel assembly, the acrylic then sandwiches onto the mild steel assembly and the ice then attaches onto, onto that. We've never done anything like this before and we're not entirely sure whether it's going to work or not. But the prospect of actually breaking any of the stuff we've been using, the car, the perspex, the ice wheels themselves, has been high. And we've had a few little problems. We've had some cracks and fractures. The idea of putting full ice wheels onto a, a car and driving us along, it's a bit crazy, really, uh, and, and exciting. It's a different type of challenging, because you get some things that are more sculptural, but actually logistically and kind of technically, I mean, it really is up there with one of the hardest things I've had to do.